Hey guys, what's up? Zach Scott here. Uh, you can probably file this under the who gives a crap category. <laughs> but um, I have two versions of Super Smash Brothers Melee for the uh, GameCube. I don't know how I got two. I just, uh, I have two. And uh, I was going through my GameCube games, uh, kind of, you know, making sure they're in their best condition. I have a bunch of replacement cases that I had, so I was... You know, just swapping out the cases so that they look nice and not grimy because a lot of these I bought used at GameStop and stuff several years ago. And uh, I was just kind of, you know, making sure they looked all tidy. And uh, so, yeah, I had two of these, right? And I get kind of annoyed. You know, I the reason I don't get the player's choice version of games is because I like having, like, the original version that came, the first version that came out. I don't care that it's, you know, open and used and stuff. I, I like it to be, like, original, relatively good looking, and complete. So, you know, I'm looking at both of these, and this one's kind of, like, really crappy, you know. I'm, I'm like, looking at them, I'm like, ah, this one is kind of, you know, like, the paper is all, like, warped. It looks like it has water damage, and, and this one's, you know, the paper's clean, but this one has a better disc, you know, and this one has a better instruction manual. So I was, like, trying to combine them all together to form, like, the best copy that I, I could have. It sounds ridiculous to a lot of people, but uh, it's what I do. And so um, I was doing that. And I've since undone that and had them on two separate versions. I realized that, wait a second, the barcodes are different. This is the first thing I noticed, the barcodes. Uh, this one, I don't know if you can see it, the same barcode, but it ends in 0000. zero, zero, zero. Let me actually focus this. See that? Zero, zero. I'm trying to focus on my computer. There we go. Right there. Right there. There. And uh, it was made in Japan. Look at that, made in Japan. Meanwhile, the other one has uh, 00100 and made in the USA. I'm having a hard time. There we go, made in the USA. So that was kind of weird. Um, and then I, I did a little further exploration of this and the manuals are a little bit different. Just, uh, hold on. The one that was made in, wait, which one was which? The USA, I think this is the right one. The one that was made in the USA the manual is it's blurry. I'll fix it. This one is 45977B. And then this one. Whoa. Jesus. I keep thinking I see something. I thought I saw something out in the window. Okay. This one. A. 45977A. <laughs> Both printed in the in the USA. Uh, the difference, of course, with this one, which I which came with the Japanese one, uh, not a huge difference, but some of the pages are different. Uh, if you look here, uh, this has like uh, I'm trying to focus here. This has uh, up at the top, like RCVB and like some paragraphs. This one has like an extra like sentence or something, and it says Rev C on there. Rev C, look at that at the top. So, <laughs> I don't know who cares. <laughs> I care for some reason. It's a little bit different also inside. Um, it, I, I don't want to go through the the uh, the minute uh, differences on some of the interior, uh, but um, it seems just like in general there are just like little little tiny issues like that don't even matter to me. Such as like the numbering seems a little like okay like on one of them, the numbering. Uh, okay, like this one, this one right here. Which one's this one? B. So that's the new one. Okay, check this out. Let's just compare these two. Hold on. Both of these pages. Uh, the spacing is different. Same page, but the spacing's different. <laughs> so just little things like that and I just keep wondering like man what is with this game like what what is with it and I, so I don't know I, I don't know um, it kind of kind of bothers me because like the you know I can always take it oh this okay I, I have it on autofocus now let's just go ahead and manually focus it back where were we the whole point you know of not getting the player's choice is because I like having like the original first release just I don't know why I mean, maybe someone will want that in the future when I die. <laughs> maybe, they, maybe they'll think I'm crazy and won't want any of my stuff. One of those two. 
Um, but so I was also looking at uh, not just that, the disc, <laughs> the disc itself. Oh God, I don't think I'll be able to show this off. The disc on the front, they're the same. But if you look at like the little micro etchings here, uh, one of them clearly says made in Japan. One of them clearly says made in the USA. That's obviously a difference. But you know, I'm thinking Super Smash Brothers Melee is a competitive game, or it was. I, I'm sure there's still competitions. And I bet, you know, they update the versions and stuff. If you look on the disc, and I don't, I don't think I can zoom in adequately to show this because it's very finite. Basically, the uh, the one in Main Japan is like Dole dash Gale dash zero dash zero zero JPN for Japan. The one that made in the USA is the same thing, but it's 0-02 USA. So that tells me there's some sort of numbering system that they're using. Is it an, is it an update? Like, did they did they fix some bugs? That, now that's so that's on my mind. Like, is this actually a, like a slightly different game that's been patched a little bit? I mean, nowadays they just release the game. They don't even care. They just release the game and then you can patch it later online. In fact, most games that you you buy now immediately after like turning them on, they're like, hey, time to update. But um, so yeah, I kind of it kind of makes me curious. Is this you know is the Japanese one like printed first, and then this one came out like you know a few months later, the one that's printed in the USA? It's weird, man. And so I just thought I would point. Out, oh, that, though that's one difference. Check this out. This is this is perhaps the most. And I looked it up on eBay. Uh, so this is a, like a real difference. This is like the real case that it came with. For whatever reason, I don't know if you you guys know GameCube games. Like here's a Super Mario Sunshine. It has a hole at the bottom. I think they use these for rental places. Uh, same thing with Super Smash Brothers Melee. This is the USA one, hole in the bottom. Whatever reason, this Japanese one doesn't have a hole on the bottom. Yeah. So, man, this is just tearing me up inside. And I guess I, I didn't even, I should have inspected more. I should have inspected further. Uh, any other? differences that I can tell any numbers that are different don't really see one I think um, the only other thing is that there's some a peculiar number that is on the spine this one has 3a I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this um, this is a, a blank one I uh, I actually swapped out the case on my USA one because the like I said I was swapping out the cases for newer cases and then I noticed that hey, even the cases have some sort of marking. So yeah, even I, I like I can just see, I can just imagine in my head a true collector being like, "It's not the original case, bro. <laughs> you swapped it out." I can tell because this one says this one's supposed to say. You see that three A right there? That one's supposed to say three A. I can just see that happening. But right now, if you look on eBay, a lot of the uh, the classic Nintendo stuff, it's uh. There's like a, they have like different revision numbers on the classic Nintendo games and there's like people who will only go for the the very first original cartridge release. So, so I wonder in like 10, 15, 20 years, people are going to be really analyzing this stuff under a microscope and be like, oh, he got the Japanese version. That one's the authentic one. So it just kind of bothers me. And again, these are open. Imagine if these were sealed. They'd be driving me crazy <laughs> that I didn't have like the, the first one because... The whole point of having like a sealed game is have like this just mint, pristine, original copy, and uh, at least my opinion. I guess I guess another point is just to preserve a memory. So yeah, and then the Japanese one uh, doesn't say 3A. It says like 4B. Just, you're just gonna have to believe me. I don't want to hold it up to the camera. So anyway, that's that. I noticed those two differences, and then you know I looked on eBay, and several different games are either you know made in the USA or made in. Japan, it's always 0000 for Japan, 00100 for USA. And then there are some that are like 00101 or 00102, which seem like updated USA versions or something. I don't know. So um, the same thing happened. I, I just, I don't know. It's not too important, but it kind of bothers me. <laughs> I don't, uh, no, no one out there try to diagnose me with any sort of mental issues because I don't have them. <laughs>